twice. Kohler has a base hit. And Skinner has a base hit. Kohler now 289 with five home runs. McMillan, the shortstop, will pinch up the middle just a little bit. Here's Logan, the lefty. High fly ball, right field. Use going back, use looking up, and it's gone. Two run homer from Logan Kohler, three nothing Memphis. When that came off the bat, I did not think that was a home run. I thought that was going to be a lazy fly ball, and it kept carrying because he got up into the jet stream. Again, that wind is blowing. It's pushing towards right field at about 13 miles per hour. And Kohler's a strong guy. He's country strong. And again, it is crazy how much trouble Lott is having with his, against the left-handed batters. Again, lefty, lefty. There you see Kohler. I don't even know if he thought he got all of it, but he goes into the home run trot pretty quickly as that one gets up there and out there and a 3 nothing Tiger lead. So Kohler mashes sixth of the year. R.J. Jemerson into the 4-6-3 double play earlier in the first, 253. He's got a pair of homers. Lots 1-0. Fouled it out of play to the right side. I would think right now the happiest person would be Dalton Fowler. Yes. He's pitching well. He's staked to a 3 nothing lead. Well, you're strikeout leader there. One and one. Strike on the outside. What's interesting about Memphis is they have been in every series so far in conference play and have had a chance to win all three of those and could not get either the clutch strikeout, the clutch out, the clutch hit. Obviously, they have to win today to make tomorrow that much more important, but that's what Memphis has been. They've been close. They've battled. They've battled all season long in Carrick's first year, and that's what I really love about him and his staff and these players that they fight till the end. Well, they've gone into the rubber game with a chance. There's a line drive left field in front of the track is Nickens and that will end the inning. But the Tigers on the board for the first time this weekend. They'll get three runs. They did it on three hits. There were no errors and they leave nobody on base. We're through three complete here in Memphis and the Tigers now lead the Cougars 3-0. Well, it was Jake Curtis with a solo shot. Three batters later, Logan Kohler, a two-run bomb that put the Tigers up 3-0. Yeah, and they're really launching now against Lott the second go-around after seeing him the first time. They're focused on that first pitch fastball because he's throwing that fastball to just about every batter, and he only throws 88. So you size that thing up. This is not a Randy Johnson humming 98, 99, 100 miles an hour. Ground ball. To Curtis, so the first in time, so one up and one down as the home runs have come from that left side of the infield. You just saw Kohler and Curtis. Yeah, again, you learn from pitchers that second go around. You might be able to hit them that first go around, but that second time you see, what is this pitcher doing? Is he tipping off pitches? What is he doing consistently? And he's throwing fastballs almost to every batter he's faced, and Memphis teed off on him and now have a nice lead, and Houston will get some activity in the bullpen. In the meantime, Fowler getting a one-pitch out here to start the fourth and he needs that to kind of catch up on the pitch count here in the fourth now that was just his 50 second pitch he had a one two three inning in any ago in fact he's retired nine straight the only thing he could say today is was to Lamero who flew out to right back on the first and a couple other batters got in some early battles elevated the pitch count but since then he's, he's started to catch up on it two and oh from Fowler delivers the strike. And I would imagine that, that Carrick will ride Fowler as long as he can if he continues to throw strikes and put up donuts on the scoreboard with a lead. Because while they have faith in a lot of their bullpen, especially their closer in the other Dalton, Dalton Kendrick, uh, you certainly want to get what you can get out of this guy because he is often rolling in conference play. We gave you those numbers earlier. To use a football term, if he can play ahead of the chains, imagine he'll stay in there. That one's going to be inside. But right now he's Full count now on the left-handed hitting Alex Lopez. Dangerous hitter hit a home run last night. He's two for five with that home run this weekend. 285 with four homers. Three and two. And misses down and in. So I'll stop the streak of nine straight. That's just the second base runner for the Cougars this afternoon. 
That may have been Fowler just being a little too fine with Lopez, trying to be a little too perfect. Cleanup man Anthony Tulomero had that long at bat back in the first before he popped up the right field. He's one for six in the series, 299, seven homers, 32 driven in. Meanwhile, Lopez are just a couple of steals this year. He's been caught once. Tigers are turned 24 double plays. Houston's hit into 16. First pitch. Hard slider, but misses down and in. Fowler waits now the offering. Strike call. Outfield straight up and a low throw, but dug by Cox, almost as if he didn't really fully commit when he brought that leg down. And unfortunately, I think Cox saw that thing coming low right out of his hand. One and one. Two and one now. He misses downstairs below the knees of Tulamero. Yeah, he's missed a couple just by inches, just a little bit low. Houston does have some activity. Braden Forsythe, the grad student out of Coldwater, Mississippi, not too far from here, and an Ole Miss transfer right now up in the bullpen. And former right fielder Josh Irvin on that last regional team in 07 from Coldwater, Mississippi. Three and one. Well, you get the lead, you feel comfortable. You don't want to give away freebies, and he's in jeopardy of walking the second batter of the inning. Foul him off. It's a full count. And that was one where Tulamero, 3-1 fastball, sitting on it, and fouled it off. So good pitch there. Three, two. Rips that one in the left field. Benson getting back, and that one got out in a hurry in the back of the Cougar bullpen, and it's a one-run game. Tulamero is eighth home run, 33rd and 34th RBIs of the season. Tower doesn't want to throw ball four, throws it right over the plate. He kind of grooved it. Tulamero had that battle with him in the first inning, ended up flying out the right field, gets the best of Fowler here, and Houston right back in this ball game. You're right about that ball getting out in a hurry. Benson tried to jump, and then he decided, well, I'm not even going to commit to this jump. Well, I don't know if you could tell. Watch Benson. This ball is ready. Uh, there, I, okay, I, there's no way I'm it's jumping. By the time he reacted, it was over his head. <laughs> the dangerous Houston Cougars showing their power once again. Here is Murray, 318. He lined out the left field in the second inning. Fowler comes back with a strike on the outer half, 0-1. So a 3-2 game. Tigers on top. Three home runs over the last full inning. A couple by the Tigers. Now two Lomero joins in. One one count. Fowler to the right hander. Oh big swing and a miss that time is Murray. Going to muscle up on one again. He's got four home runs, six doubles. Also a pair of triples this year. Fourth home run allowed by Fowler this season. Ground ball to first. Cox has it. He'll take it himself when there's two down. Two away for Cameron Nickens, who didn't play last night. Grounded a short earlier today in the second inning. Hey, he was in the batter's box, coach. Todd Whitting's going to come out, and I'm not sure what he's asking about here. But uh, gets the explanation from Chris Booker. Not sure exactly what he was. I don't think there was any asking. chance of that being a foul ball straight down or anything. That one took off straight over to uh, first base. Just won the explanation, no argument or anything. He got the explanation. He'll make his way back over to the dugout. There definitely wasn't, as far as I could see, catcher's yeah. interference that didn't right. hit his glove. So two down, nobody on here. Three two, Memphis. Change that time's going to be strike on the outer half. Yeah. 
hat's going to be low. Infield, maybe all a step shifted over to the right side. And he does hit it to the right side. That's going to end up past the Tiger bullpen. Well, for Tigers fans and certainly Kerry Jackson, you were hoping for another quick inning for Fowler, but now the pitch count elevated, closing in on 70 pitches. And he came back and got that answer back. Well, actually, two answer back runs on that home run by Tudelmero. That's a way to get the momentum right back into your dugout. So nice job by Todd Whitting's Cougars. One and two. Reaches out line, drive, that's going to be fair. That's going to get into the corner before Jemerson catches up with it. Nickens on the way to second base. He'll dive in well ahead of the throw. So a two-out double for the Cougar left fielder. Ed just reached down, poked that one down the first baseline, and now Houston with the tying run in scoring position for Brandon Burkell. Good piece of hitting there from Nickens. Burkell, 248, three homers. Ten driven in, looking for something with two outs here. Again, here's a look. Well, we didn't see the swing, but you see the hustle around first base by Nickens. Head first line, even though it wasn't necessary in the end. Hey. You never know. If I got to run that far, it's going to make it look good. First pitch to Burkell is fouled straight back. So it'll be interesting to see what Tim Jamison does with his bullpen moving along in this game. Last night, Stinnett starting. Durham, who's been a starter and a long reliever, he pitched. David Warren, who's been a normal starter, he pitched. Casto, Green, Lyons, and Kessinger, they all pitched last night. Comes the 0-2. Playing and a mess, struck him out. That'll get out of the inning. Not before the Cougars respond, though. Two runs, a pair of hits, no errors, one left on base. Tulemero's two-run homer makes it a one-run ball game. The Tigers lead it 3-2. to two.